Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know if anybody's going to join me. Y'all know the routine. This is your girl, Princess, with the Truth Is Hurt um, video. Um, this morning, I want to encourage somebody to recognize what fear is. Uh, a lot of times, um, when we start getting these jittery feelings and start speaking negative, we are um, afraid of something. And so, uh, when certain situations arise, um, watch how you respond to it and acknowledge what it really is. Um, a lot of people call it complaining. Some people call it uh, grumbling. Um, different things. But let me give you a situation. If you have something do, hey, Taranika, if you have something um, do, you know, there's a bill or something like that. And then you see one of the videos and they we telling you to trust God and all that stuff. And then you go to, you know, like, I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't know about this last time, blah, blah. Well, when the, the root of that is that you're afraid. You're afraid that God is not going to do it. And so what we tend to do is speak negative when we think that God is not going to do something. Uh, or when we think something's not going to work out because last time. But if you think back to the last time, see, this is how the devil tricks us. If you think back to the last time, you you came out of that situation some kind of way. It may not be the way that you agreed to come out of or that you thought you was going to come out of, but you came out of the situation. And so what we got to learn how to do is stop that um, talking uh, so quick and being so negative so quick because a lot of times really we're not talking out of what we know we're talking out of fear fear that it's not going to work out you know fear that the situation gonna be messed up and so a lot of times when situations happen in my life uh, whenever I was grumbling or complaining or fussing or something like that I wasn't addressing the real issue I was addressing um, you know, just fussing about it, really, just just upset. And so I would say crazy stuff like, Lord, you know, why I got to keep going through this kind of stuff? Why I got to be whatever? But if you trust God, then you can go through anything. And that's the truth. Thank you. Thank you, Tara, Nick. I appreciate you. Okay. I will do that. Um, but, you know, sometimes we get nervous. You know, we're nervous about situations. And so... Uh, when we get nervous about it, we go to fussing and barking. That's what we do. But I just dare some of you to try praising him. I'm serious. Try praising him before you start that complaining and fussing and stuff. Because, again, a lot of that is stemmed from fear. You don't think God is going to do something. You don't. You're not sure. And so you get to worrying about it, and instead of praising about it, you start complaining about it. You start fussing about it. You start trying to look at it from uh, the wrong point of view, the wrong way. And so you talk, and, and when you talk, you got to be careful because you are anointed, uh, an anointed child of God. You got to be careful what come out that mouth, I'm telling you, because you can kill something before it even uh, is born good. You can or raised up you can you can uh shoot down an idea that god is uh planting inside of your head because you already done put all these negative thoughts in there and really those negative thoughts only become be, uh, only come because of fear because if you when it's time to go get a new job most of you start saying, I don't know about that. I don't know about the people. I don't know what's going to happen if I go over there. See what I'm saying? But really, if you get to the root of it, you are afraid. You are afraid if you go over there, you might not like the people. Address the fear. Recognize what it is. And don't let fear talk you out of your blessings. Don't let it do it. I know uh, the other day there was somebody that was telling me, I've always wanted to write a book. And I said, well, why don't you write one? I don't know. You know, you don't never know if people going to like it. You don't never know if, you know, people are going to uh, accept it. You don't never know. Well, honey, you ain't going to never know a lot of stuff. That's the way this life set up. You ain't going to know a whole bunch of stuff. So if when situations occur, you're going to be the, the first thing come out your mouth is, I just don't know. Well, you, you, okay, we glad you don't, you don't know. Good morning, Vicky. But stop 
worrying about things and recognize what it really is. A lot of you fear stuff. Really, the only reason why you're grumbling and complaining about it is because you already think God is not going to do it. You already have some thought in your mind that it's not going to work out for your good. So if you thought that it was going to work out for your good, you wouldn't start with that. Uh, I remember the last time. Or you wouldn't be saying stuff like, um, you know, every time I try this. Because then you would know that God is going to take care of you. you got to do stuff. you got to step out on water at some point in your life. you got to walk in places that are uncomfortable at some point in your life. you got to do it. But you can't let fear. And how we respond to fear is we open up our mouths and we say crazy stuff. We do. We say crazy stuff. So, what I want you to do today is recognize when you are afraid of something. Recognize when you're uncomfortable. Recognize that and catch your mouth. Catch your words. Catch your uh, thoughts. Catch them. And then say, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Meaning, I'm clear on this. I'm going to walk on water. I'm going to climb the mountain. I'm going to walk in the valley so that God can take me to the mountain. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go through this situation so that God can get me to the other side. The journey don't always, you don't get to walk all the time through roses and stuff. You don't get to smell um, the, the roses like they say all the time. Sometimes you got to walk and deal with them thorns on that rose bush. You got to deal with them. But don't be talking about Last time, you know, I picked up the rose, I got pricked. Last time, I got cut. Last time, I tried to give somebody a chance or whatever. Well, that could be the person that's going to take you to the next level, walking around here in fear. And we think that we're speaking something over ourselves. We think that we're protecting ourselves. The only true protection you're going to have... Hold on. Let me get Tara Nick. The only true protection you're going to have is God.
Y'all did that and too much stuff went to going on. But anyway, you got to, like I said, have faith in God and you got to stop this and you have to catch yourself. Recognize when you're afraid. It's okay to be afraid. You know what I tell the Lord when I get ready to go in different situations? I say, Lord, I'm afraid. See how simple that is? I'm scared. I'm afraid. This is what I say. You don't have to lie to God. He already know. It ain't that you doubt him. You doubt what the situation is. And tell him that. Say, Lord, I don't doubt you. Help me. Help my unbelief. Tell him that. Tell the Lord that. Tell him straight what it really is. Stop trying to make up stuff with God. God already know. You ain't tricking God with this. Um, But the last time stuff, and every time I try, in your situations, when, when situations arise, I don't care if it does look like the last time. God works stuff out in different ways. Send different kind of people. I'm serious. So watch and recognize what fear does to you. When you fear, what do you do? How do you respond to things that are uncomfortable to you? That's what you need to recognize. And the reason why you need to recognize it because you're getting ready to talk yourself out of a blessing if you do what most people do when they fear. And that is to speak normal. You got to speak the thing. You got to walk in there sometimes. You really, you can't be scared. Hey, Commandant, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? We, we respond in ugly ways to fear. And we start blaming everybody except for the situation. We start looking at... That was my good morning text. Or my thanks beautiful text. Um, but we start trying to... um deal with it another way. Like, for instance, when you go to the doctor, and then I'm getting ready to close, but when you go to the doctor, most of y'all don't want to go to the doctor because you fear what the doctor is going to say. Might not even be ready to tell you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Might just say, ma'am or sir, you got a cold. But because you fear it, so this is what you start to let. They going to give me all that medicine. I got to take all that stuff. All that stuff going to get inside of me. I ain't going to be able to work. I ain't going to be able to. You are so right because you are anointed child of God and everything come out that mouth is going to become true. Yes, ma'am. And yes, sir. So, yes. Uh, you are so right. And you wonder why your situations don't work out sometimes because you be done spoke it out of a good thing. You be done talk yourself out of something good because you already, because of fear, start saying what's going to happen. You don't know. But if you serve the almighty God, let me tell you what I do know. What I do know is that you're going to have to go through some uncomfortable situations and you're going to have to go in some dark places and you're a light, so you shouldn't be afraid. You're, you're supposed to be a light. And so lights are no good in a room unless we're trying to make uh, extra uh, power. Like, like we need to use it when we're trying to go somewhere and make some influence when a whole bunch of light comes in. But we are good in dark areas. We are good because we are the light. We are the light. So we don't have to fear. We don't have to worry. We don't have to uh, be talking crazy and talking ourselves out of stuff. So y'all don't do that tonight. today. Recognize what fear is. Recognize it and call it for what it is. Tell the Lord exactly what you feel because he's not stupid. He is. He already knows. Say what it really is. Lord, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared to try this new job. I'm scared to talk to these people. I'm scared to go in this place. I'm afraid, God. And let him work on what really is going on and stop all that talking crazy because you're talking yourself out of stuff. You talk, you're speaking over your life. You are influencing the direction of your path with that talking because most of the time if you talk negative you're not going to do anything that's going to change the situation if you already got in your mind so get your mind right talk to god tell him exactly what it is you're dealing with but recognize fear a lot of this stuff we deal with today is because of fear god did not give you the spirit of fear he did not give you the spirit of fear. You cast that mess back to hell and tell the devil you will see him on the next go round and you'll be ready for it. 